anything could go wrong. Um, and usually, it usually does, but people don't notice. Uh, it, it, then again, the shows, especially the ones on Sydney Harbour, and it's such a great setting for it, and it works so well here. It's such a wonderful moment at the end of it that, that it, uh, it, it makes it all worth it. And so, yes, yeah, so I am looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, uh, with anxiety, but yeah, I am looking forward to it. I love making these shows. Uh, I think it's an achievement for me, and uh, I hope everything will turn out on the night. And uh, when this show is fine, it's just uh, put your hand up, your head up, and look at the sky, look at the boss upstairs, and look at God, and say, I hope it will explode, and, and it's okay. At 10.30 p.m. on Sunday the 1st of October 2000, the closing ceremony for the Sydney Olympics began. The river of lightning was ignited. When it reached the harbour, the F-111 flew over the stadium. The F-111 roared overhead, and it was time for the fireworks to begin. The fireworks at Sydney were seen on television by 3.7 billion people in 220 countries. Five international companies, representing each one of the Olympic rings, constructed and launched the fireworks for Sydney. Fireworks launched from the Harbour Bridge rose 100 metres into the air and were controlled by four computer systems. Just 0.9 kilograms of gunpowder is enough to launch a car 15 metres into the air. This show used over 2,000 kilograms of gunpowder. The closing ceremony for the Sydney Olympics was a masterful display of pyrotechnic skill and superb choreography. But what kind of fireworks might we see in the future? Japanese firework creator Dr. Takeo Shimizu has some ideas. In the case of Japanese fireworks and also in other parts of the world, People are seeking to improve the timing and accuracy of explosion process. Extensive study is still needed to improve the accuracy. This is an area of research I'm studying at the moment. If it is possible to explode certain color, such as blue for a second or two, in a perfect timing, then music could be made by a series of explosions. With the reason we could make music using sound of fireworks. This is what I'm dreaming of making. 
By creating extremely accurate explosions, Dr. Shimizu hopes to make music out of the rhythm of the exploding fireworks. Dr. Roger Schneider also dreams about rockets. Personally, I like skyrockets, and I wish we had more skyrockets used in public displays of fireworks. Fortunately, they are not. And one of the biggest reasons for this is that rockets fly somewhat unpredictably. Firework experts hope rockets might someday be brought back into public displays by having their own guidance systems on board computer chips. Computer chips might be able to be used in fireworks and uh, it is then where we will create new things, new right, maybe writing in the sky and uh, uh, is it, there something exciting, really exciting that can happen with, with fireworks and uh, we will make it happen somehow. There are other ideas too. I think you'll see more and more amazing effects. Uh, one of the latest trends which I've seen, which is, is, is really great, is uh, um, they've been able to make fireworks when they explode in the air, they make faces like a smiley face. I think you'll see a lot more of that in the future, which is uh, pretty incredible. The fireworks that um, we're hoping to make within the future is uh, to be able to spell someone's name up in the sky. I don't think it's ever been done. I haven't seen it done. So uh, we'll have to plan for that. But could the ultimate goal in fireworks be this one, a firework display in outer space. Pyrotechnics expert Dr. Schneider has begun experiments to try to realize his dream of outer space firework displays. He's burning small amounts of pyrotechnic materials in a vacuum to see how they would react in space. So far, the results have been disappointing. Most fireworks need oxygen to ignite, otherwise they simply melt. However, he's not deterred. The problems are very, very, at this point, seemingly insurmountable. We would need to do some experiments, certainly, to see how pyrotechnics behave, first of all, in rarefied atmosphere. Perhaps launching aerial display shells off the top of Mount Everest. 27,000 plus feet and see how they perform at altitudes as close as that is to Earth before looking into much, much higher altitudes. A firework display at such a high altitude would look as if we'd made our own Aurora Borealis. If Dr. Schneider finally works out how to ignite fireworks in space, they could be transported by rocket. In the absence of gravity, a single firework could be the size of a house. This super firework would take an hour to explode and could be viewed by an entire hemisphere. A firework display seen by half the world. Audiences now expect bigger and better mass entertainment. Fireworks are here to stay, on Earth as well as in space. In the future, firework displays will be a blend of art and science. Technology from the 21st century will merge with a craft begun thousands of years ago and will create a whole new pyrotechnic phenomenon. The future for fireworks is burning bright.